if you guys are interested, some of you asked, uh, what Pennzoil lineup do I have coming up? Well, my uh, oil testing that I'm going to be sending off is this here, the Euro AV, the Ultra Platinum. Well, we already have the Ultra Platinum out now, the Euro L, Platinum Full Synthetic. I couldn't get the 5W30, so I got 10W30. The high mileage, synthetic blend, and then 5W30 synthetic blend regular. Here's another lineup that's coming up, synthetic high mileage motor oil from Fram, made by Amelie. So you have the high mileage, the regular full synthetic, and then the high mileage motor oil, which one is, I think, uh, this is synthetic, and is this blend? I think that's the significance between the two colors. I think that's... Because this one just says high mileage, so I think it's a synthetic blend. And this one here is just high mileage. And then there's the regular full synthetic from Fram. And then here's another one. Uh, you guys vote on which one you want, but it's the Syntec 5W30. And then full synthetic high mileage. And then full synthetic. And then here's Total Quartz, French made, 5W30. Total Quartz 9000 Energy. This is age resistance technology. Let me know which one you guys are thinking that you want. Do you want the Pennzoil next? Or do you want the Fram next? Or do you want the O'Reilly next? Let me know which one of the group you want next. If I send the pens oil off, I'm going to send it all at one time. If I send the O'Reilly off, it's going to be one time. And the frame, it's going to be one time. But I'm not going to send them all off together. It just, just costs too much money in one shot. I think the frame alone is going to be about $260 somewhere ballpark to get all the, I mean, the pens oil tested. Uh, no, it'll be like two, 220 probably to get the pens oil tested. Uh, and then I have a different liquid molly that's more for like, I think BMWs or Mercedes. I think that's what it was. But I ordered it and it's in one of the vehicles at work. And people were telling me, oh no, that's not the best one. Get the molly gen, get the molly gen. Well, I got the molly gen. And even though the molly gen was okay, there was really nothing to brag about. Uh, the best oil that I've tested so far is Redline. Redline had the highest additive package out of all the oils. And I think the best numbers overall. Um, and that was after 5,000 miles of use. The package was still extremely high. And it was higher than any of the oils we've tried. The second highest uh, ad pack and the, the best numbers overall was Schaefer 9, the Premium 9000. Uh, third... I would have to say would be either Amsoil Signature Series or it would have been uh, the Valvoline Extended Protection. Uh, Valvoline Extended Protection had some extremely nice numbers, but the only one that I have used so far would be the 5,000 miles that I put on the red line uh, bread bottle. It's got like a grade five uh, ester base to it. <sighs> the numbers, <laughs> the numbers in that blew me away at 5,000 miles. I've never seen oil with an ad pack like that that was able to really, really, really make my engine very, very, very quiet using that stuff. So, but again, you know, for six quarts of the red line, I think I paid damn near $110 or something for it because the stuff is it's so good and it's expensive uh, the most affordable one that I found so far was the Valvoline extended protection um, I think I ended up paying like $24.99 for the jug for the five quart jug and it was some of the top ranking 
And a lot of people kept telling me, you know, that mobile should be in there. Mobile should be in my top five. Mobile should be in my top five. Mobile's in the top five of many of the other content creators and stuff like that that actually independently test the oils. And I went back and tried to verify what the handful of people were saying. And mobile was not in anybody's top five. It had like, it beat a couple of the big names out in uh, cold flow testing, barely. But overall, it was always middle to middle low of the pack. It was never in any of the top numbers in overall testing. So I don't know where people got that from. I, I tried to verify that. I checked Nate's stuff and I checked, uh, um, you know, I had some conversations and stuff with Lake Speed, a uh, lubrication specialist, and uh, even talking to Blackstone Labs to some of their like um, analysts and stuff in the lab, talking to Pennzoil and called up mobile and talked to mobile and stuff like that. I was very honest with all these people about my testing and stuff in general. And they thought it was, you know, it was pretty cool of me to do all this and pay for it out of my own pocket. Nobody was against it. Pennzoil wasn't against it. Um, Mobile wasn't against it. And Pennzoil, some really, really, really good oil. It's up there top 10. Now that I've kind of experienced some of these other oils and stuff, I would say probably closer to arguably top five. If I went top five most affordable oils i would say for the for just the general purpose of what we're using oil for changing it by every five thousand miles valvoline extended protection would be number one castrol edge would be the castrol edge twenty thousand mile formula that the gold bottle would be number two no, let me, let me go. I re, let me retract that. Valvoline extended protection and probably it's, oh, I got to wait for the Pennzoil Ultra to come back. Ultra is just damn good oil, man. I, I haven't physically seen the numbers new yet on Ultra. I've seen it used, which is phenomenal. But I haven't seen it new yet, so I can't speak on new. But used oil, it's up there very, very high. I'm trying to place Ultra without seeing the number. I don't think I can place Ultra without seeing the number, so I'm going to have to wait on placing Ultra. But what I what we've seen new oil-wise so far, new oil-wise so far would have to be All right, if I had to go back and look at the the numbers, I, I'm going to rate them as most accessible. You may have to order one or two of these, but the most accessible and fair on price, not the best overall, but the most accessible, fair on price, I want to say Mobile One Extended Performance is number five. And the only reason I'm doing it, but this is the category of most accessible and fair on price. Mobile One Extended Performance is number five. Number four would be Castrol GTX Magnatech, but I think they call it Castrol GTX Full Synthetic or Castrol, Castrol Full Synthetic now. Number three would be Liquid Molly Molly Gen. Number... Okay, I, I did that backwards. <laughs> Number five would be Mobile. Extended Performance. Mobile Extended Performance is number five. Number four would be Castrol GTX Magnatech. Number three would be Liquid Molly Molly Gen. Number two would be Castrol Edge, the gold 20,000 20, mile formula. And number one would be Valvoline Extended Protection, or I'm not sure if they still call it Extended Protection or if they change it to Advanced. Those will be my top five most affordable you can get them on a shelf or they're a quick order. They're going to be to your house. Now, let's talk about oils that you can order that are the top five and price is not an option. You just want the best oil to put in your vehicle. Mm. I got to rethink this now in this category. Number one would be Redline. Ester based red bottle. Number two would be 
Schaefer Supreme 9000. Number three would be Amsoil Signature Series or let's say Valvoline Extended Protection for number three and then number four Amsoil Signature Series and number five Royal Purple HPS. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Just some oil talk. That's all. Just easy. Easy like Sunday morning talk. Stuff that we're interested in. Hope you all have a great day. Be blessed.